Hey guys, my name is Franklin Arantz and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about whether the new Profoto A2s are worth it or not. And to answer the question, yes, the Profoto A2s are worth it, but I know what I'm going to hear from a couple of you in the comment section, and that is that Profoto tends to be overly expensive for no reason. However, it is worth noting that Profoto has been the staple when it comes to professional flash photography. That being said, at the beginning of my career, I knew that I wanted to be a full-time professional photographer, so I went straight into investing into gear that I knew was going to last me a long time, and that was with Profoto. So my first unit was the Profoto B1, and it required no cables whatsoever, so to me, that was a no-brainer. Then eventually they released the B10s, and then followed by the A1X, then the C1 Plus, which I've also talked about in this channel, and then most recently they released this flash, which is the A2. Now the A2 compared to the A1X, I believe has an additional 25 or 20 more watt seconds of power. So I believe these release about 100 watt seconds of power, whereas the A1X is between 75 and 80. Another big reason I keep going with Profoto is because over the years they keep innovating and they keep shrinking their products to make them more portable, lighter, and easy to travel with. Over the years, I have had the opportunity and blessing, if you wanna call it that way, of visiting 56 countries and hundreds of cities by this point. And while I did start with the B1s and it was doable, obviously it became easier when I switched to the B10s. And do I need to say how much easier it is now with the A2s? For my line of work, I mostly work with professional dancers and fitness people. So I typically carry two lights and I rarely push any of them to their max unless I have to. Now most of the time when I shoot with these has been in overcast days or at night and a few times I have shot with the sun fully out. At which point I did have to put the units at their max which is 10. But for the most part I'm always shooting under level 7 if that makes any sense. I love the quality of the light, the consistency of the light. I love how fast it recycles when you're not shooting at full power. And my clients love it too. Another thing about Profoto that I've enjoyed is how with the new Pro Remote, you can actually see the power outputs on your unit. So you no longer have to bother either your assistant or go yourself and go read what the unit says and then change it accordingly. I know a lot of people have an issue with Profoto because they are overly expensive, but if you already started with Profoto or if you know you're going to be a long-term photographer, Profoto is a great company to stick with. Their products are reliable, they're something you can trust, you know they're going to work, and you know that the color consistency is always going to be there. Whereas with other brands that I have tried personally, while they are great for beginners, I wouldn't say that they're great for a long-term commitment in the photography field because I've noticed that sometimes they misfire and the color accuracy is, is very inconsistent. But now let's talk about some of my favorite shots that I've taken with the Profoto A2s. And that's one on a recent trip that I went to Tokyo and I photographed a professional dance couple literally in the middle of the streets and I used one of them all the way in the back with a purple gel and I put that at max power. And then I used another one at around power 6.5 or 7 with a silver coated umbrella, uh, which was a lot closer to them. And I was just blown away with how the photo came out. In that same setting, I then turned off the light with the remote and I photographed just the lady and I used the silver umbrella and I photographed her and I exposed so that you can see a little of the ambient light from street lights and buildings, etc. Also, some of my other favorite photos were from a high-end club that I was hired to photograph in Monaco. Uh, the club is called Jimmy's and I was hired to photograph the talent who were dressed in a very fancy way and they liked it so much that they want me to go back actually. Another one was right here in New York City with one of my friends and students and we shot her when the sun was completely behind her and I used 
one of the A2s at max power with a silver coated umbrella. And again, I really like how the photo came out. So if you've been thinking about getting into flash photography and you know you're going to go for photography as your full-time job, I highly recommend Profoto. Even with the higher price premiums, you can justify that as a working professional. It is an investment that you're not going to regret because as I said previously, these are products that you can fully rely on and they're not gonna let you down. As always, if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell notification for future videos.